morning. I... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, you were out for the count when I came home after helping Pam clean up. <laughs> Served up a lot of meals at the mission. It was really inspiring. You have a nice brunch at the Spencer house? Yeah. 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 Will's getting so big. And Uncle Bill really, really loves being a daddy. It's, it's cute. Yeah. Coming. Your timing is impeccable. Bet you have a killer espresso machine here. Of course I do. I'm fully equipped. <laughs> we'll crank it up. Make mine a double. Um, I am pedicuring right now, fellow. You can make it yourself. Oh, what a life. I'm getting there. What's missing? Butler? Personal valet? Uh -huh. At the moment, just my man. What's Rick home with his wife? Um, pretend wife. All those people, you know, families, mothers, children. I mean, they were just so happy to be having Christmas dinner. And I felt privileged to be a part of that, but yeah, I, I just, I can't stop thinking about today and then tomorrow, and if they're going to be safe, if they're going to be warm. I really feel like we should be doing more. Yeah, well, I mean, every little bit helps. And not just on the holidays. Mom here? Uh, no. Good. Should we be back, though? Well, I'll be quick, then. Have you talked to Hope? She's in Europe with her mother. I didn't ask where she is, Deacon. I know where she is. I asked, have you talked to her? No. Guessing you haven't either. Uh, yeah, we had a great time. I think, uh, I think it really meant a lot to my dad. I bet. So, who all was there? Uh, Katie, Will, Caroline stopped by. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How is he? He's not the happiest camper on the block, but he rose to the occasion. I still... I can't believe Hope just left for Italy. I think Hope just needs to get her life figured out. Does she want you to help her with that? Hope has to figure this out. Yeah, we both do. Of course you do. You're both hurting. We lost a child, Deacon, and I know that it's my fault that I didn't whoa, whoa, keep wait, my mom Stop, wait, wait a second. Stop. Now, I know you're going through a lot. We all are. Wyatt, this is not your fault. This isn't your mother's fault either. I mean, she's not the bad guy here. Right. I'm gonna get out of here before she gets back. Just let me know if you talk to Hope, okay? That was something else, huh? Powerful. I'm really proud of you, girl. Why? Christmas, working at the mission, serving dinner. Are you kidding? I came from the streets. It's about time I gave back. I had to steer clear of Rick, though, of course. Right, the boss who tried to fire you. Or so it appears. But I watched him across the room. The way he spoke to people. I mean, he's, he's so compassionate, honest. He's amazing. Once Eric signs those papers, he has control of Forrester. No more nights alone. And no more Caroline. Can I make you breakfast? You don't have to do that. It's not a chore, Rick. I'm good, really. You won't let me do things for you anymore. 
Just because I'm not hungry, Caroline. No, because you're still upset with me. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, you're, you're here, but you're not. What do I have to do? How, how can I earn your forgiveness? So you're going to work today? Eventually, unless Rick stops by. I don't know, Maya. Don't know what? Seems like you might be getting a little ahead of yourself. Maybe I am. Is it so bad that I have love for someone, that I have a dream? Rick gets control of the company and I become his wife. It could happen. Caroline hurt him, broke his trust. I just want to give Rick the life he deserves. So why do you think I haven't forgiven you? Because you're different. Different? It used to be so easy. Us loving each other. Now it just seems like an effort. For you? No, no, not for me. How could you think that? I, I guess after everything that happened, you would. I thought we were past that. We are, Caroline. At least I am. I want this marriage to work. It means everything to me. I was so sure that we were on the right track. But we aren't, Rick. I feel resentment. Am I wrong? I was just leaving. How was your holiday? Fine. Went to Dad's. Did you have a good time? No drama. Well, I guess that's something. And you? What about me? Honey, I've been so worried about you. Don't, don't do that. Y you know that's not possible. Why, come on, she's your mother. Of course she's gonna worry. Well, I'm not a child. I don't need mothering. But you lost a child because of me. You may not need mothering, but I'm in desperate need of forgiveness. Fine, you're forgiven, okay? Can we just leave it at that, please? He's right. It's time to let it go. I wish I could. So, Hope, have you talked to her? Uh, since she left? No. Okay, so where do things stand? Well, um, physically, I think she's going to be okay. Liam, we've always been really honest with each other, so I, I think you know what I'm asking. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. Where do you think stand? I, well, look, I, I'm not meaning to put you on the spot. You'll always care for Hope. I realize that. It's not a threat to me. It's just... Suddenly, the landscape has changed. Not for me. I still feel exactly the same as I did before, but you know, it might be a different story for you now. So when Hope comes back to LA, do you want her back? Hope and I lost our child, and I'm still dealing with it, okay? We all are. I, um, I realize you don't want my advice, but I am going to give it to you anyway. Go to Italy, Wyatt. Your wife needs you. Uh, will I want Hope back? That I, that's... I can't answer that. Well, you can't or you won't? Yeah, the miscarriage changed things. Uh, one thing it didn't change is that Hope is married to my brother, and, and I respect that. And Hope is in Italy right now recovering. But most importantly, Ivy, I'm here, and I'm with you.
Want to go to the beach? Yes, I would love that. You would love that. Yeah. So what, work? Ah, uh, yes. And okay. the orders are just streaming in. So tell Rick you'll be in later. <sighs> what? Uh, what? Uh, Rick and I might have a problem. I, uh, I, I saw him kissing Maya. Business. So who's in charge? You're looking at her. Come on, let's see. Come on. Thank you. No. Oh, absolutely not. Maybe. Mm, no. Back to the drawing board. You are not running this company. Au contraire. After all, I am Mrs. Rick Forrester, not you, Caroline. Me, the Forrester matriarch. Resentment? Come on. Just because I don't want breakfast? It's more than that. We both know it. I really have to go. Rick! We have to resolve this. There's nothing to resolve. Stop it. Just look at me. I love you. And despite everything that we have been through, I know that you love me too. I am committed to you, to us. And I'm not going to let you slip away like this. We promised each other we wouldn't let that happen. I know. So then don't push me away. I only want you, Rick. Only you. Let me prove that to you. For the rest of our lives. Let me give you a child. A part of me and a part of you. It'll be the new beginning that we need. Let me love you. I've got something really important I gotta take care of right now. Right now. Yes. I'll be back. Do not tell me how to handle my marriage. I'm not. Hope left. That was her choice, not mine. And you must be feeling so rejected. I lost a son. I, my chance of being a father. Has anyone ever thought what that meant to me, huh? Yes, I have. Probably more than anyone, because I remember all of those years that you asked me about your father. Mm -hmm. And yes, all the lies I told you about him. You make no mistake, I know what this child meant to you. You wanted to do right by your son, the way it hadn't been done for you. My girl felt the same way. Why had I abandoned her when she was a little girl? She, she didn't want that, she wanted to do it the right way. She wanted that baby every bit as much as you did. You both have lost so much. You're both suffering and searching 
for answers, but instead of facing the the cold fact that sometimes tragedy happens, you're 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 lashing out and 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 that isn't going to help anyone heal. You and Hope have so much healing to do, but you need to do it together. Hope is a mother who lost a child. You're a father who lost a child. Yeah. But Hope is a woman and her pain it's it's just different than yours. She needs you by her side. You're both grieving. But the only way you can heal is if you grieve together. I love you, Caroline. I love you always. I love you forever. Perfect timing. <laughs> I was just looking at pictures of us. Can I fix you something? A little drink, maybe? No, thanks. Oh, tough holiday. Well, you're here now. Tell me all about it. About what? About Christmas dinner without me. <laughs> it sounds like a sad cable movie. Well, just so you know, it's gonna be the last one. Wow, it really was bad, huh? Well, I have a great idea. The perfect holiday drink. Hot, buttered, Maya. I'll run a tub, put some bubbles in it, pop a bottle of champagne. How does that sound, my sexy CEO? It's Eric, isn't it? Those papers he was supposed to sign? No, we didn't discuss the papers. Oh, that's good. We'll probably do it after the holidays anyway. And that's when the real fun begins. You have control of everything Forrester, and we just get to jump right out of the closet. Ta-da! <laughs> Babe, what is this look? What's going on? It's just been a really difficult morning. Okay. Caroline and I, we... What? We had a talk. A talk? What kind of a talk? What is it, Rick? What's going on? 